What is up my YouTube friends, players, what's going on? It is that time again, time for a new shoe review. And a little drama, perhaps. Uh, yes, it is, uh, it is that time again, time to review a new pair of shoes that I just picked up a couple of weeks ago. You guys uh, are awesome, all of you subscribers. Love all the comments, all the questions, all of the, uh, the feedback that I've had on my previous shoe reviews. And a lot of you have been requesting more shoe reviews. <clears throat> and I'm more than happy to do them, but uh, you know, I, I work every day like you guys. And money doesn't just fro float freely around, I wish it did. Uh, so I can't just go out and afford every pair of shoe that catches my eye. And uh, hey, it'd be great if shoe companies would send me products on their behalf so I could review it, but uh, so far that has not yet happened. I don't have any endorsement deals going on. So, as such, let me introduce you to my latest pair of shoes. These are the Nike Free Trainer 5.0. These, uh, these are a little different than other shoes that I own in that these are actually not running shoes. These are specifically training shoes. Um, I needed a shoe that I could bring to the gym every day when I go to lift weights and uh, wanted something that was uh, a little more flexible, a little more... Uh, something I could also use as an everyday shoe, which, uh, which I have definitely been taking advantage of these. And uh, they've been pulling great double duty as both a training shoe and just my everyday walking shoe. Um, as you can see, they're, they're designed based on the, uh, the Nike Free model with the, with the flexible sole. Uh, which is fantastic. I love that, which is ultimately we, why I decided to go with these versus other training shoes. Um, they're, they're pretty stylish. I really like the style. I like this color scheme. This is uh, some sort of wolf gray and blue color. I don't remember the scheme. I got these off of Zappos.com. I like Zappos. You can check out their site. Um, and the, the sole is based on the, the 5.0. Uh, sole, which I believe means that the heel to toe drop is 5.0 millimeter. So uh, I do believe that's what that signifies. Anyway, um, what do I like? What do I dislike? What's my overall impression of the shoe? Well, uh, as I mentioned, they are the based on the free run uh, or the, just the free line of, of Nike shoes with the with the really flexible sole, which makes for uh, a great natural movement, which I prefer. A lot of shoe companies have their own version. Reebok has their version. Adidas has their version. I tend to think Nike does it best. I, I think they were, I think, believe they were the first to come out with this sort of uh, sole design. And, uh, you know, I think they, I think they nailed it. So that's ultimately, again, why I decided to go with Nike. Um, these shoes have great support. You know, they're, they're trainer shoes. They're designed for support. They have a really thick sidewall uh, that hugs the foot really well. It, uh, once your foot's inside and you and you cinch these things up, it's it's really locked into place. There's a lot of good ankle support, so if you if you're doing a lot of lateral movements in the gym, uh, your foot's not gonna slide around inside the shoe. You're gonna have good ankles ankle coverage, uh, so you're not gonna roll your ankle. You'll be you'll be good and covered. Uh, good arch support. Um, these are designed, I believe, for more for a, a neutral arch, but uh, as with most shoes. You can always replace the insole if, uh, if these don't happen to be to your liking. So that's another good option. Um, they're uh, a good multi-surface shoe as well. They have uh, a couple different patterns of treads in the bottom, as you can see. So they have great traction. So you can use these indoors, outdoors, multi-surface uh, you know, capacities, and it's going to perform well, I think, I think equally on, on any surface. I've... I've broken these in on, uh, uh, I wear these on the treadmill, uh, on carpet, on, uh, on asphalt, on concrete, on grass, and it's, it's held up well on, on every surface. So no problems there. It's a really good multi-surface, multi-function shoe. Um, as I mentioned, uh, they're, not, they're primarily not used as a running shoe. They're a little bit heavier than, uh, than a running shoe, um, although I do use these when I warm up at the gym on the treadmill. Um, and I, I do jog on the treadmill, or actually I do sprints on the treadmill. But I wouldn't use these long distance. Um, these weigh in around 12 ounces or so. These are size 13. Um, so they're a little bit heavier and you're likely to get probably a little more exhausted 
if you uh, if you try to use these for long distance running. But you know, just in an everyday trainer capacity, they're they're fantastic. Um, what I don't like is um, I I think they're a little bit narrow in the design. I have a little bit wider foot, so if a lot of you are like me and uh, have wider feet, you might feel a little constricted, especially right as you get into the toe box area. Uh, so you may want to go with a half size up, you know, should that be the case, just to allow your foot a little bit more uh, breathing room inside there. And speaking of breathing, that's sort of the next point, in breathability, not a lot. So if your feet have a tendency to overheat easily or sweat, you may want to stay away from these. Again, that this great sidewall that offers excellent support, well, it's because it's so thick, it tends to trap a lot of the, um, you know, a lot of the air inside. So it's not, it doesn't breathe very well. It does have some mesh, but it's a little bit thicker. It's not quite as thin as on a lot of other shoes. So, you know, it's not going to breathe quite as well as uh, as a lot of other shoes you'll find out there. Um, and uh, the final flaw, you know, again, this uh, this awesome flexible sole has sort of a, a negative aspect, which is when you wear it outside, you have to de-stone these things. Pebbles, rocks, whatever, they get trapped inside the, the waffle design. And uh, it can be kind of a nuisance. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not a deal breaker by any means. It's just, um, it's just more or less, like I said, a nuisance, and you have to pull out the rocks because they get trapped in there, and it gets a little annoying. So, um, overall, I give these shoes, I think, an eight out of ten. I think if the the design was a little bit wider, I think if it offered more breathability, uh, I'd push that up to a ten. But they're a overall great training shoe, awesome support. Uh, oh, forgot forgot to quickly mention the lacing system. Uh, I believe Nike calls this the dual lacing system. As you can see, there's sort of a another get this lace out of the way uh, support structure inside here where the laces run through so when you tighten it up it really cinches around the foot really well holds the foot into place so um, overall like I said eight out of ten love the shoes uh, they're my my go-to training shoe don't use them as a running shoe because they're a little bit heavy a um, little bit clunky in that regard um, yeah as always I appreciate any comments any feedback any questions that you guys might have, feel free to post those, and I will get to those as soon as I can. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.